church and stood up on the altar, I would see my mom sitting there. And after church, she would grab me and we'd walk up to candles and she'd put some money and we'd light some candles. My mom taught me how to pray for people. I used to watch my mom in the car when she would hear a siren. She'd bless herself. She'd pray for the person in the back of the ambulance that she didn't even know. My mom left that to me. Her faith, her spirituality, to me is one of the pillars of my recovery. It was unintentional, to be quite honest with you. I, I started speaking 12 years ago uh, to a little local school, local to my home. Um, and I spoke to a few health classes, and I've been speaking ever since. So, um, you know, over the years, I've kind of adapted to what the kids are going through and kind of pivoted in some facets of my talk that are relevant to them. But anytime you get a chance to get up and speak to kids about vulnerability and self-esteem and confidence, um, you know, it's a huge opportunity. What do you want the kids to get out of your message today? Well, I think when it comes to drugs and alcohol, we talk about the worst day and we forget the first day. You know, we want to show kids what drugs do to you in the end rather than why they're beginning. So if you can get kids trying to challenge themselves emotionally and socially, um, it's a huge win. It's a responsibility, right? I mean, it's something that I'm very passionate about. I mean, I flew into Omaha last night, drove two hours here this morning. Um, it's something I love to do. It's something that I've, I've, you know, 10 years ago, I had no idea that this was going to be it for me. And, uh, and 10 years later, it's still going and I, and I love it like it was my first day.